Hello and welcome to this edition of Cavium's Intelligent IO Matters video series. It's Todd Owens again here with you. I'm the Technical Marketing Manager at Cavium uh, on the HPE OEM Account Team. In this video, I want to show you how to access and how to use uh, our Cavium QLogic uh, HPE Ethernet Competitive Replacement Utility. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is open up my browser and go to the HPE microsite which is at uh, www.qlogic.com slash info slash HPE. Once I get to the home page, all I need to do is scroll down here and I've got three little chiclets. And in this bottom one is where we have our uh, HPE Ethernet competitive replacement selector utility. So I'm gonna click on that. And what it does is it downloads a, a small Excel file for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Excel file. And what I have here is this Excel file that I can uh, select a different adapter in this particular uh, uh, cell here and then it will compare that adapter and come back with a recommended replacement from a QLogic, uh, HPE QLogic perspective. So if I pick for example a 560 FLR SFP Plus, now this is a 10 gigabit dual port adapter in a flexible LOM rack form factor with SFP Plus connections. Um, and you'll see the HPE part number here and what the HPE's list price is. Now down here in the blue is where we have the equivalent offering from HPE and QLogic for that particular adapter. In this case, it'll be the 534 FLR SFP+. Plus. Um, the difference here, this is a flex fabric adapter versus an ethernet adapter. Now, as you know, an e a flex fabric adapter is an ethernet adapter. It just has some extra capability, specifically storage offloads. However, if you look over here at the part number uh, and more importantly at the list price, you'll notice that the list price for this flex fabric adapter is $80 lower than the price of the 560. And then down here below that, we have a list of features that are additional on the HPE QLogic adapter that you don't find on the one that was originally selected. So if we have a configuration where we're thinking about putting a 560 FLR SFP plus into the configuration by putting a 534 FLR SFP plus what we get is support across both Gen 8 and Gen 9 uh, rack and tower servers uh, NIC partitioning the ability to virtualize physical ports um, we get tunnel offloads and we get iSCSI and FCOE uh, offloads as well so um, these are some great features in addition to all the other features that these adapters both support. These are ones that are supported uniquely um, by the uh, HPE QLogic adapter here. And again, at an $80 lower price. So I can repeat the process. I'll pick another uh, adapter. Let's say we'll pick a 556 FLRT. So uh, 556 FLRT is a, again, a 10 gig dual port um, flex LOM. This is a 10 G base T adapter. List price is 675. And here we have two options. We can go with a, a dual port 533 FLRT or a quad port 536 FLRT. Now there's a difference in list price, um, 649 for the dual port and 899 for the quad port. So if you look, compare dual port to dual port, you'll end up saving $26 with the 533 FLRT. And again, here are the features that you get supported on the HPE QLogic adapter that are not supported on the one that we originally selected. So that's how easy this utility is to use, and it really helps you build and configure the best possible solution for your customers. Well, with that, I want to say thank you um, for watching this session of Intelligent IO Matters. Um, I appreciate your time and your attention, and if you have questions or need any help, please reach out to us via email, Twitter, or LinkedIn. I hope you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.